In today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what an AEM workflow and workflow model is, create a custom workflow process step with a dialogue, and show how to create a really simple workflow model and execute it. So let's start. Workflows allow you to automate different tasks inside AEM by defining a sequence of steps to be executed and the actions to be performed at each step. A workflow model represents the definition of a workflow using nodes for the steps or actions to be executed and transitions to define how the steps are organized and what is going to be the execution sequence. If you go to the global navigation and then on the tools panel and inside the workflows submenu, you will find the different workflows consoles. Once you click on models, you should be able to see some of the existing workflow models. Hovering on, for example, the DAM update asset workflow model will allow you to select it. From here, you can click on edit, which will allow you to go to the model, see the sequence of steps that it already has, and make modifications. If you click to toggle the side panel, you will be able to see the current out of the box selection of steps that you can use for your own workflows. Like these two, used for activating or deactivating pages or assets. In this video, we will be creating one new step so that we can easily add it into our workflow models. Let's start by creating a similar application like the one created in the previous video that talks about Maven and how to create AIM applications using Maven and Docker. I created a simple Yeoman generator to make it easier to create a custom workflow process. It will request some parameters to be provided and will proceed to generate the code for you. Let's first talk about the component that houses the dialog for our custom workflow step. It is a simple component definition that has a touch dialog with the field that we want to be able to configure and edit config node with the name for the workflow step, the class that implements the workflow and a property defined if the process should auto advance. Then we have the definition of the component node using CQ workflow components model process as the resource supertype, the workflow component group and the title for the component. Notice that there are no rendering scripts inside the component. We also need a class that implements workflow process and also overrides the execute method. This is the class that we were referencing from the edit config node. You need to annotate the class with the component annotation, set the service property to workflow process and set the name it will have inside AEM. Then we have here some boilerplate code and after that, and we're getting the variable that we defined for the dialog. Finally, I'm just printing something into the log so that we know that the workflow is in fact working. Now we need to build and deploy our new app into AEM. Now that we have our application up and running inside AEM, let's create our workflow model and run it. Browse again to the workflow models console, click create and then create model. After typing a descriptive name, click done. Select the new model that you created and click edit. Let's remove the first step Open the side panel if it's not already open, type sample and hit enter, then drag and drop our new custom workflow step into the model, 
configure the new step, type some text so that we can check that it is being passed into our class and save your changes. Click on sync at the top and we're now ready to execute our workflow. If you go where your AM instance is installed, click inside the crx-quickstart backslash logs folder and open the one that is called project-workflow-step-dialog.log. You will be able to see any new messages there. Go back to our previous tab in the browser. Select the workflow model that we just changed. Click on start workflow and then select a path inside AEM as the payload. Finally, click on run. If you go again into the logs, you should be able to see that both the value of the field and the payload have been logged into the file. Awesome, congratulations and thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please hit subscribe.